हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज डॉक्टर जयेश एंड आई एम वर्किंग इन मीनाक्षी लैब्स मदुराई हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्क्राइबिंग अ स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोसीजर फॉर एनेबल एप्लीकेशन फॉर आरटीपीसीआर आरएनए वायरस मेडिकल टेस्टिंग Enable has created a dedicated portal for application process. There are two categories for submitting application. The first one is the laboratories which are already accredited with Enable for tests other than RT-PCR RNA virus. So these laboratories can apply via existing user or scope extension portal. Another one category is the laboratories which are not accredited at all and can apply via new user or fresh accreditation. The another category is the laboratories which are not accredited at all and can apply via a, as a new user or the fresh accreditation. So first of all we will see the procedure for existing users. Existing users need to sub apply extension of scope for real-time PCR RNA viruses. So here they can see there is a separate portal for existing users or scope extension. The users can click on this portal and it will take them to this page where they can log in to apply for RT-PCR RNA virus medical testing as a extension of existing user or scope extension here you can see one manual where it will guide you to step by step procedure for filling the application form the another one is register as a fresh application or a new user where if you click it will take you on this page where it shows register or apply for RT-PCR RNA virus medical testing laboratories. Here also you can see a help manual where there is a step by step guide to fill the application form. Again there are some basic instructions where a laboratory sh should be uh, ready to with all this information which is provided here it is mentioned please ensure that the following information before applying for accreditation the laboratory has act documented and implemented the management system in accordance with ISO 15189 2012 the laboratory is having competent person to perform the test and to report review and authorization of the test result the laboratory is equipped with necessary infrastructure, equipment and test kit, reagents, reference material which are required for correct performance of the test. The laboratory is regularly performing the quality control activities to ensure the quality of the examination results. Now we will see the detailed procedure or step by step procedure for filling the application. So once you register or click on extension of scope, the following screen will appear and it shows change of the password where you need to re-enter the password uh, generated by the system and your mobile number and email ID and you can create a new password with special characteristics a capital letter a small letter and it should be at least eight letters or eight characters in number on first login and with name new change password the below screen will instruction appear it shows the instruction these are the instructions basic instructions which the laboratory sh uh, should go and the laboratory needs to accept the instructions and proceed further then there is a screen which will show uh, four declarations uh, which will appear as a pop-up boxes one by one the first declaration mentioned 
we have documented and implemented the management system in our laboratory in accordance with the ISO 15189-2012. The laboratory can further proceed if it declares compliance by clicking on accept button. The second declaration will read as we are having competent personnel to perform the test and to report, review and authorization of the test results. The laboratory can proceed further if it declares its compliance by clicking on accept button. The third declaration will read as the laboratory is weak equipped with necessary infrastructure, equipment and test kits, reagents, reference material which are required for correct performance of the tests. The laboratory can proceed further if it declares compliance by clicking the accept button. Then there is a fourth declaration. The fourth declaration will read as the laboratory is regularly performing the quality control activities to ensure the quality of examination results. The laboratory can further proceed if it declares its compliance by clicking on accept button. After declaration, the below screen will appear with eight different sections or tabs starting with laboratory details and ending with enclosure list. The laboratory needs to fill the laboratory set details section first. After completing, completing the laboratory details, the laboratory can move to the next section. Please note that the moving or jumping to other sections tab without completing the laboratory details sections results will lose result in loss of data entered and may require rework. While updating or entering the details and information under the laboratory details section tab with respect to collection centers if any, please ensure that the collection details are filled in the format excel file provided here please also ensure that the details information is required to be filled or typed in the given format please avoid copy paste formatting of text for its font type size style color and widening width of column mer merging bordering etc in case of no collection center, please mention zero in numbers of collection centers filled. No file is required to be updated in this respect. Once the laboratory details section is completed, the laboratory may click on discipline section or tab. The screen will appear as mentioned here. Please note that the discipline section or tab will be auto filled and require no action. The laboratory may move to next section or tab for scope of accreditation. Here mentioned the screen will appear after clicking on scope of accreditation section or tab. The laboratory has to hit on click here button to add scope of accreditation. After hitting the click here button to add scope of accreditation, the below screen will appear. The laboratory may make the selection of discipline and type of sample examined tested from the drop downs as shown below in the screenshot. 
similarly the selection of specific test examinations performed can be made from the drop downs as shown in the screenshot please note that different drop downs will appear for the selection of specific test examinations performed depending on the selection you have made in the type of samples examined and tested the first three field of discipline type of sample examined tested and specific test examination performed can be filled through drop downs only please note that the field of standard or method principle methodology or technique use is non editable it cannot be edited it is pre filled so you cannot make any changes into it after filling the details please click on the add more or save button after adding the scope the laboratory may click on the view scope to check the details entered the data entered will appear in a tabular form as per mentioned in the screenshot you can delete it by clicking the red dustbin or you can edit it by clicking on the symbol of pencil as shown in the screenshot after completing the details in the scope of accreditation the laboratory may note that in addition to eight sections tabs one more tab a selection as declaration will appear after enclosure list also the sections of enclosure list will show all green tick marks on clicking the declaration tab or section the terms and conditions for obtaining and maintaining nabl accreditation will appear so i request here all of you to please go through these terms and conditions and maintenance of nabl accreditation once so as you should be familiar with the process of nabl accreditations as well as terms and condition associated with the accreditation process and the certification at the bottom of declaration tab or sections two option button will appear one is we accept and another is view preview report the laboratory can view or download its application by clicking on view preview report to proceed further for submission of application the laboratory has to accept the terms and condition for obtaining and maintaining nabl accreditation by clicking on we accept as shown in the screenshot after clicking on we accept the button of pay and submit will appear and the we accept button will go away the laboratory can make the payment and submit the application after clicking the proceed to pay and submit and entering the password portal login password here which can which needs to be entered again before paying or submitting the final the laboratory will be redirected to a new page as shown in the screenshot the laboratory may ensure the fee being charged before making the payment for detailed information and requirements of accreditation including fee you may refer to nabl documents general information brochure nabl 100 available on nabl website you may follow as below the nabl 
document 100 mentions the NABL fee structure as per the size of the laboratory. There are many categories out of which the laboratory must see at the medical laboratories and should see the number of samples or number of the patients per day per location to find out the actual number amount of fees the laboratory needs to pay. So this is the screenshot I have attached here as the NABL fee structure. This screenshot is taken from NABL 100 document which is a general information brochure from NABL. After that, you may proceed to make the payment. The various payment options are available. The screenshot attached here will appear for making the payment. The application will be submitted once the payment is successful. So friends, here I have given in detail step-by-step -step procedure to fill the online application for NABL accreditation, for real-time PCR-based RNA assays, for a new lab or a existing lab for scope of extension of scope. If you have any difficulties, kindly let me know at the email ID given here or the phone number mentioned in the screenshot. So friends, I wish you all the best and hope you make the accreditation process.